In this video, I'm going to go over the story behind this brew, go over the flavor profile, the color, and where you can pick it up for yourself. I'll also give it an untapped rating. Stay tuned. What's up and welcome back to another episode of Beers That Fits. I'm your host, Rob Fitz. Today we're going to try a brand new double IPA from one of my favorite breweries, Fieldcrest. If you're new to the channel and enjoy what you see here, make sure to smash that subscribe button and don't forget to tap that bell. By the looks of it, only 43% of you watching are not subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for the support. Fieldcrest is a family owned brewery by the Field family. You have Adam, who used to be in the printing business, and his wife Shannon, who used to be a teacher. Together they opened the brewery back in 2019. Adam is the head brewer, and he has brewing down to a science. He's very unique with his flavors, and even his beer names. My wife and I frequent Fieldcrest often as Adam and Shannon treat every one of their customers as family. Nevertheless, let's get to the beer. This right here is called Edgy Bomb. It's a double IPA with an APV of 8%. Now there's a huge story behind this brew. Eight local breweries got together and decided they wanted to make a beer that is dedicated to the one and only Mike Edgett. Edgett passed away in January of 2022 in a terrible motor vehicle accident and left behind his wife and two young daughters. He was a huge fan of the Western Mass brewery scene and loved hockey. So the eight brewers got together, they decided that they would all use the same can design. They're gonna use the same hops, Simcoe, Citra, and Mosaic, which are three of my favorite hops. So I'm really excited about cracking this bad boy open and giving it a taste. And have about the same APV of at least 8%. Some of the proceeds will be donated to the Edget family. What a great idea from the local breweries. Adam was the first to release it, which was last Thursday on February 17th. Okay, so check out this can. It's pretty cool. It's got a guy taking a slap shot and the puck is coming at you. Also, the puck has the number 22 on it, which is Edgett's number on his jersey when, when he did play hockey. And finally, you see in the green lettering, Hop Hence. This was a group Edgett was a part of. The group is actually doing a fundraiser to help raise money for the family. They've got so many different assortment of things you can purchase on there. Clothing, cups, uh, glassware, you name it, it's on there. I've left the link in the description below. Okay, let's get this cracked open. Here goes nothing. Okay, so as I'm pouring this, you really get a, a good smell, an instant smell of pineapple. And there's definitely a good citrusy smell right there. Very aromatic, as I like to say. So definitely the, uh, the color that I'm getting out of here is, uh, again, a nice amber. Um, it's very hazy. Can't see through it. I'm going to shine out some light. Um, it's got good bubbles coming from the bottom. In the head, the head is um, probably about a half an inch, uh, which, is, which is good in my books. Like I said, Adam has a science when it comes to his brews. Uh, I appreciate his brews, and they're all quite delicious. Nevertheless, Let's give her a taste. Cheers. Wow. Excellent, excellent brew, Adam. Um, it's kind of got a, 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 a creaminess to it. Uh, nice and smooth creaminess to it. Not too bitter. Uh, not bitter whatsoever. The, uh, the citrus flavors are really coming through. And it's... And it's quite smooth, uh, very, very much on the lighter side um, for, for the hops, that is. 
the hot meat. Sorry. Um, maybe I'm just drinking too many double IPAs, <laughs> but this one is quite delicious. Um, what else can I say? It's it's really good. Adam did a fantastic job uh, brewing this one. Uh, if I had to say, if you're not a IPA drinker, try this one. Um, it's 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 gonna be really good, definitely. Overall, quite a delicious brew. Okay, so for my untapped rating, um, I'm definitely gonna have to go with a um, 4.75. All right, Adam hit it hit it right on the nail. It's delicious. It's good. Uh, well balanced. Double IPA. If you'd like to follow me on Untapped and see the other beers uh, that I've rated before, I've put the link down in the description. Go check it out, follow it, and you'll be able to see every time I, I post something on there. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on this brew, you'll have to head over and see Adam and Shannon at Fieldcrest, which is located at 2343 Boston Road in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. For the other breweries, I've heard that Two Weeks, White Lion, Skyline, and Rustic Brewing are included in those eight breweries that are participating in this brew. When they are dropping their release, I have no clue. More to come. I'll try to keep you updated as I hear things. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, most definitely smash that thumbs up. Let me know what other kind of beers you'd like me to try in the comments below, and I'll see you next time on Beers That Fits. Stay crafty, my friends. Hey!